I deleted everything. Um, after I posted my last video, which is my reality check, I wanted to disconnect to focus on myself and really just kind of hone in on, you know, the things that I was struggling with at the time and really focus on my mental health. Manny MUA just released his video, Where I've Been, and he's finally come back from a little mental health break, and there's a lot, a lot that we can learn from it. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I am not a drama channel. My channel is actually all about mental health. So what I try to do is pull from different topics going on in the YouTube community and all of that to try to teach you, yeah, you, how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And it's crazy. It's crazy because I just made a video a little bit earlier and I was talking a bit about the beauty guru drama. So like, obviously I don't do makeup, but <laughs> I was introduced to all this stuff from my amazing girlfriend. She loves watching different makeup artists and their channels and her friend Shelby. So they kind of got me in the mix and then all this stuff went down, you know, in the beauty community. And I know a lot of you are new here. Uh, you know, you came from the Shane Dawson stuff, but before I was talking about some of the stuff going on in the beauty community. So a lot of you already know, but I'm not sure how many of you keep up to date with it. I'll link some videos up in the info card so you can go check those out. Uh, but quick recap, basically um, some stuff went down and Manny MUA, uh, you know, people were calling him a social climber and he's had a lot of friendships that, I don't know, come and go and Manny's the common denominator and then Gabriel Zamora made a video about it and then Manny made his video and he said he was taking a break. So that's a little recap. Manny just came back and he made a video and part of it is him announcing that he's doing like kind of this little mini docu-series about where he's been. And so one of the things that I wanna talk about, and there's gonna be a few topics in here, so please stay tuned, because they're very important, and again, I make these videos to help you out, because I know that some of you can relate to it. So, part of this, and I, I haven't been keeping up on you know the comments of that video or Twitter, but I guarantee, I guarantee, there are so many people already who are saying, oh, this is just a PR play, oh, he's just doing this to get people back on his side, and all that other kind of stuff. That's cool, I think it's ridiculous, because here's the thing, one of the videos I'm linking up here on the info card is how to earn forgiveness, all right? Like, so many people have done just dumb stuff and then they have to apologize and try to get forgiveness, but the thing is, and what I talk about all the time, is actions speak louder than words. Like, I'm much more empathetic to people who are trying to change and all of that because I am a drug addict and alcoholic who has been clean for six years and I've had to earn forgiveness from people. So like, I, I like sharing a little bit of my story because so many of you are new here and you're just now meeting me. And I love when you guys give me compliments or you say, you know, Chris, you have great advice or a great outlook. Like, I just wanna make it very clear with all of you. There are people who know me, who know me, but they remember who I was six years ago, and they still think I am a jerk, all right? So I just want you to kind of keep that in mind when it comes to, you know, different people who are trying to change or trying to get forgiveness. But, like I said, like, actions speak louder than words. Like, I think it's crazy for anybody to think like, oh yeah, well, you know, I'll know whether or not I forgive this person, like, in the next, I don't know, he took a month off, like, what, what? Like, he hasn't done anything to show us he's changed. And even when he releases these videos, like, what has he done, right? So uh, I will be like covering it because I've, I've not subscribed to Manny until today. I just subscribed to him because I'm really fascinated by it. Like for example, I have an entire playlist about how to apologize because so many people, so many people don't know how to apologize, right? And uh, you know, I, I think it's important to kind of look at these different situations and see what people are doing. Are their actions speaking louder than words? And like, I want to watch them and I want to review them in a mental health aspect, seeing how he's changing, if he's changing, what he's actually doing. And I work with a bunch of drug addicts and alcoholics, so I'm pretty good at seeing through BS. So I did subscribe to his channel so I can review those. But the next important topic that I wanna talk about that I never get to talk about on my channel, but this is why I love making videos like this because 
people like Manny give me the opportunity to talk about this stuff on my channel. So I will preface this by saying like, when it comes to Manny and what I'm about to talk about, it's all speculation. Like I'll dive back into it after you know we see, but I wanna plant this seed with you. And what this topic is, is the topic of mental health breaks, all right? Like I know so many people, I know so many people who take mental health breaks. Maybe they take a day off of work or maybe they take a week off and they take this little mental health break, right? And it's like, if you're not doing anything with that mental health break, you wasted your time, all right? And I know like some of you might be getting a little defensive about it, but like, hear me out, hear me out. So part of this, like a lot of what I try to teach you guys about improving your mental health, uh, not only is it from my education and my research and my studying, but a lot of it's from personal experience. So a little over six years ago, right before I got clean and sober, I was hitting rock bottom. I was a crazy person. I had health issues. I had all sorts of problems. And my uh, the owners of my company, they're like, Chris, you need to take a break. Like, you're losing it. You need to take a break. So they gave me a week off. They gave me a mental health break. Do you know what I did during that week? Can I tell you what I did? I sat in my dark apartment by myself, I got drunk and high all day, and I watched the entire series of Lost. That's all it was. It was me going in and out of blackouts watching Lost. Like, how insane is that? So for me to sit back and say that I utilized that week off in a, in a way that improved my mental health would be absolutely ludicrous. So what I want to say to all of you is like during a mental health break, make sure you're taking action, whether that's spending more time with your friends or more time with your family or seeking out a therapist. Like if you're one of those people who is so busy, you can't even go to therapy or anything like that. Or if you're somebody in recovery and you're so busy, you can't even go to a meeting, like use that time to take actionable steps to improve your mental health. Like if you take a mental health break and all you did like that day was just sit around and binge watch Netflix, you didn't do anything to improve your mental health. So again, like I don't know what Manny did during this like month and a half off from social media and all that, but we're gonna see, I wanna hear like, did you do something? Like, that was one of the pet peeves I had with uh, Bobby Burns. Like, when Bobby Burns had his mental health breakdown like a few months ago, and he was like talking about how he, how he needed a break, how he needed to take a break. And like, I was watching him and I followed his content. I'm like, it doesn't seem like you took actionable steps, but I do know that not everybody puts all of that information out on video, right? But I would appreciate if they did that because if they said that, it would inspire people to do the same. So. The last topic I wanna to talk about is, in this clip right here, Manny talks about something. You know, at the beginning of the month, I was like self-medicating um, because I was going through it mentally. So yeah, Manny talks about self-medicating. And I, I'm interested to see what that is. Like as an addict and alcoholic in recovery, I know all about self-medicating. Like I have a brain that beats me up constantly. And in order to quiet that voice, I would self-medicate with alcohol and drugs. So in Manny's case, I'm interested to see, I don't know if it was substances, but I know some people, they self-medicate with other things like shopping or gambling, or some of them, it's being promiscuous. I'm gonna link another video up here about how addiction is everywhere, because what happens is, is when you start to self-medicate, you're rewiring your brain to become dependent on that thing. So for example, if I drank or used every time I felt bad about myself, then my brain is going to learn that anytime you feel bad about yourself, you should get drunk or high. So self-medication is a big, big, big problem. Now, so here's something that I teach to my clients. Here's something I teach to my clients at the rehab I was working at, all right? This is a, this is a secret hack that I'm gonna teach all of you, okay? You ready, you ready? Okay, so like in a group, I would say like, how many of you ever drank or used because you just felt like a piece of crap, right? And pretty much everybody ra raises their hand, right? And I would say, how many of you drink or use because of feelings of guilt and shame? And pretty much everybody raises their hand. So I tell them, I say, I'm gonna teach you the best recovery hack ever. You're gonna get rid of two triggers by not doing things that make you feel guilty and ashamed, right? <laughs> like, it seems, it seems too, too easy to be true, right? But it's the real stuff. Like, that's what I imagine uh, Manny might talk about is he was self-medicating because he felt he has, 
he has some kind of conscience in him and he felt bad about the things that he was doing. You know what I mean? So like, if you're somebody like that, I can't believe the great timing of this because in my last video I just made about Shane Dawson, I was talking about like doing these random acts of kindness. If you are somebody who has a lot of negative self-talk, if you judge yourself too harshly, if you have problems with self-love and self-compassion, I'm telling you, go out and do things for other people. Go out and be kind. I guarantee it will make you feel better. Go out and do things without expecting anything in return. The only thing you should expect is that good feeling you get just by doing something nice. But the, one of the reasons I love mindfulness is it balances your expectations. Like, don't expect that every time you do a nice thing, you're gonna feel great because then you are really trying to get something in return. But I would say if you did 10 nice things in a day, you'll probably feel good at least, at least, with about eight of them, all right? So this is the way that you counterbalance that negative voice in your head. If you're somebody who carries around a lot of guilt or shame or self-criticism, just go out and start helping people. Like, the way I say it is, it's really hard for your brain to beat you up and call you a bad person when you're going out and putting so much good into the world. Like, somebody left a comment on my last video about perfectionism and self-criticism and anxiety, and I have some videos about self-love and self-compassion that you should check out, but I really need to do a video about perfectionism and anxiety because I definitely can relate to that. But anyways, I just want to talk about this, and again, I will be reviewing uh, Manny MUA's uh, videos when they come out. So here's what I want to do. Down in the comments below, let's do this. Let's talk about mental health breaks. Like, let me know how you take advantage of a mental health break or what you suggest somebody else could do during a mental health break to really improve their mental health, all right? I can't wait to see what you guys say down in the comments below. But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And if you would like to get some merch from the Rewired Soul Shop, which is totally designed by my amazing girlfriend, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.